Princess Anne was praised by the governor of the Falkland Islands yesterday after making a week-long visit to the South Atlantic even though it infuriated Argentina. Her visit marked the 40th anniversary of the Falklands War and enabled the British Overseas Territory to showcase how it has progressed since the 74-day conflict in which 255 British military personnel, three islanders, and 649 Argentinian troops died before an Argentine invasion was defeated. Alison Blake, who took over as governor and representative of the Crown on the islands in July after previously serving as Britain's ambassador to Afghanistan until 2021, told the Daily Express, to host Her Royal Highness for her fourth and longest seven days visit to the Falklands during this 40th anniversary of the 1982 conflict was very special. The princess knows the islands well and her program enabled her to meet people from across our diverse and inclusive community and to take part in activities from solemn commemorative wreath lanes to a multi-cultural food festival. She visited farms and nature reserves and the newly created city of Stanley, seeing the use the people of the islands are making of this hard-won freedom, building a diverse, economically and increasingly environmentally sustainable, society. But Argentina, which has never renounced its claims to the Falklands, South Georgia, and the South Sandwich Islands, protested. Trending Princess Anne was praised by the governor of the Falkland Islands, Image, PA. Earlier this week, Guillermo Carmona, Argentine minister for the disputed territories, claimed Anne's visit took place without warning and accused the UK government of discourtesy, even though it was announced by Buckingham Palace on November 7. Princess Anne, of the British royal family, arrived in Argentina without warning, he said. Her country is in breach of international law with its colonial presence in the South Atlantic, contrary to UN resolutions and world outcry. Perhaps that explains the discourtesy. Anne, 72, visited several military memorials during her visit and also took the opportunity to appreciate the island's wildlife. She was pictured surveying a plinth at the foot of Mount Harriet which she then climbed, taking the route that the Royal Marines followed to capture the 2,625 feet hill on the approaches to the capital Port Stanley. She also traced the Marines path on the neighboring heights of two sisters. Princess Anne made a week-long visit to the South Atlantic, Image, PA accompanied by her husband, Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence throughout the visit, she met members of the Legislative Assembly, visited the Mount Pleasant base for British Forces South Atlantic Islands, laid wreaths to mark the 40th anniversary of the 1982 conflict, and visited conservation sites showcasing the unique flora and fauna in the overseas territory. Reinforcing her hard-working image, she completed 24 engagements in the Falklands and after a 15-hour flight back to RAF Bryce Norton in Oxfordshire on Thursday morning, she met the bearer party and C-17 crew from the flight that brought her mother's coffin from Edinburgh to RAF Northolt on September 13. That night she and Admiral Lawrence attended the Association of Royal Yachtsmen's Biennial Dinner in Knightsbridge, London. She was back on duty yesterday, taking the salute at a passing out parade in her role as Colonel-in-Chief of the Intelligence Corps in Chicksands, Bedfordshire.